All right, end of day two. Um, we've got the front suspension on, front brakes. We got the rack in. Did an eyeball alignment now, just so that it's easy to roll around the shop. Um, but uh, it will go out for an alignment when it's all finally finished. Um, these are the old wheels that were on the car. They're 18 inch wheels to fit over our brakes here, but we will be replacing these down the road. Got the rack in, there's the camber plates there. That allows us to move the lower control arm, control arm inboard and outboard to sit the camber. So everything is in. We talked everything down there. Underside looks absolutely amazing. Here's our frame connectors in. And a uh, key off of the leaf spring hole here so we know where our fore aft is, which really helps with the positioning of this mount here for our frame round mounted option on the trailing arms. If you're gonna do a mini tub, you'll need that. But uh, without the frame connectors, you don't know where to put that bracket. So this little tube really makes life easy there. Um, got the rear, in as, rear end in as far as it's gonna be now. A little bit of alignment uh, done on that, but no, uh, no digital angle finder action on that one yet. We'll come back and do that. Watt sink bars are connected. Again, those will need to be parallel to each other. Uh, these are the FR500s that used to be on the car. Really cool, but they're not big enough to use up the mini tub now, so we'll have to get different wheels. And uh, that's pretty much it for now.